So the world famous and iconic Battersea Power Station. And we're down in this area for the Affordable Art Fair. Yes, it's the Spring Affordable Art Fair, and it's the first of three happening across London in 2024. But we're not going here, no, we're going next door. We're off to the park, Battersea Park. Join us. Battersea Park, where the art fair is being held, is only a five minute walk, if at, from Battersea Power Station. And it's sandwiched on the south bank of the River Thames between Chelsea Bridge. Then you go along the northern embankment over the other side and you have the uh, Chelsea Hospital, Royal Chelsea Hospital, which is where the flower show happens every May each year in those grounds there. And then as you go along, you have Albert Bridge which is over in that direction. And I'll put a link to our video we've done on Chelsea and Albert Bridges at night because they are beautiful up in the top right hand corner. And this is Battersea Park, just beyond the other side of this car park. Let's go and have a quick look. Oh, and by the way, we will be back for Battersea Park. I intend to do a video on that because it's meant to be beautiful. And there's also a big Chinese pagoda as well, which you can just see beyond there. So we'll come back and investigate this at another time. So the Affordable Art Fair at Battersea has now been going for 25 years, which is quite funny because I only discovered the Affordable Art Fair last year. Um, but I have, <laughs> so the one over at Hampstead, which we filmed last May, I think it was last May, you can have a look in the archives and I'll put a link in the top right hand corner to it, actually was the first one that we have been to. But I tell you something, it's called the Affordable Art Fair. And of course, as you'll know, with lots of other things that we've covered, art is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> and I'd say so is pricing. But actually, it's quite reasonable, especially when you've been to Christie's in the last week and you film stuff in there and you think, wow. Oh, by the way, that's an emergency exit, it's not art. Oh, fantastic. Nice colours. Lots of things happening. So I'll give you some facts very, very shortly about the affordable art fair um, and when it's on and what's going on and when it's to. And also we're trying to have a look at some pricing when I can get close. Some of them are quite striking. Now the art galleries are from all over, so they're not London based, just. They're all over the UK. I've seen them from the South Coast, um, I've seen some from London, but I've also seen some also over as well from the US and Germany. So actually, you've got them from all over. We've got 3D ones here. Yeah, I like those. That's nice. All right. So let's give you an idea. Those lower ones. Just under £500 each. There we go. Because so I know you guys love to know. Uh, and not just see. God, oh, that's quite striking, the skiers. That's quite striking, isn't it, with all the different coloured skiers on it? Let's have a look at the one down below as well. Amazing. And those are about 1,800 at the bottom and just over 2,000 at the top. But lovely. I think they've done really well as well. There's those lights on the top there. Okay. Oh, that's striking as well. Striking in the gold. I'll tell you something, this is really striking. It's sort of bronze paint, gold paint, and also leaf. Rather beautiful. And apparently the artist is an 80-year-old lady. So let's tell you a bit about the affordable art fair. So, cool, that's quite striking, isn't it? Fantastic. Just going to pick up some of the bits, we'll pick up odd prices. So the art fair is on, starts today, the day I'm filming, which is the 6th uh, of March. It is on until the 10th of March, and it's been going 25 years down here. 
The only issue with it is there is so much to see. It's incredible. So you really could spend a long time down here. There's 113 galleries with thousands of artists because a lot of the galleries are showcasing different artists um, and seeing different things. But just to give you an idea, that top one is 2,600. So you've got all sorts of stuff. Uh, they're celebrating International Women's Day on Friday because that's the International Women's Day. That's a Friday, the 8th of March. Uh, and they've got all sorts of stuff down here for that, including various speakers and various artists as well. Um, they've also got a print that they've got around. Um, because it's 25 years, they've actually commissioned a painting um, and prints are available. So you people can buy that as a celebratory uh, way of doing it. I like those, sort of 3D. Look at these. Everything in here, I'm not going to show you everything, but everything is three dimensional, 380 pounds each. Just to give you an idea. What's quite striking is the stairs at the top of the picture. Also, a bull and bear representing the stock market, and also a lock, which is quite good. Like that. Although, I've got to have a large room because it's going to stick out, especially something like that, where you've actually got someone doing the painting. Lovely. And you've got all different sizes of art. So, from that, which is a massive canvas, to really small ones as well. So, a bit of something for everyone. So, yeah, the commissioned painting that they've got, then people can buy, and then they've got a number of limited arts. Um, you've got a limited edition of 200, and then people can buy the prints. I like that. Now that is good. Pixelated. Look how well it comes out on camera. I tell you, when you're looking at it, it doesn't come out as well. But when you look at it on camera, it comes out very well. So that's the Billboard Pearl earring, Mona Lisa. I can't remember what that one is with the apple. Okay. Also, not only have you got paintings, have a look at some of these in resin. Loving that with a tomato. All right. One of the things I've decided I'm going to do is I'm not going to walk the whole thing. I could be here for hours. And if you fancy coming down, that's your choice. So, so what I've decided to do is I'm not going to do the whole thing. But let's just give you a selection of it. And then if you can get down here, you can. But it also gives you an idea of some of the free things that are going on. Now also, if you're coming down on Saturday and Sunday and bringing the family, they've got family hour down here at the weekends. Between 11 a.m. and 12 midday, they've got activity packs, scavenger hunts, face painting, and stacks more. So children aged 7 to 12 can also enjoy a fun-packed tour of the fair exploring popular art movements and techniques. And the tours are on at 11.30. On Saturday and Sunday, £20 a charge has got to be booked in advance by the ticket shop. That's what I like about it. It's a bit of everything for everyone. So if you come down here, you're going to definitely find something. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a dive down the middle. Oh, see the balloons? Yeah, this is a champagne bar. Look at these 3D things hanging off a wall. If that takes your fancy, the monkey or the orangutan is going to set you back to five grand. There you go. Five thousand. Champagne bar. And also, the good news is there's a cafe restaurant upstairs as well. And we'll pop up there after and just give you 
a view of that so you can see that but also the view down on the art fix that looks like that's worth doing as well now that i saw something like that last time over in hampstead and how striking is that love that london view you've got the gherkin you've got the new horizon 22 building over to the left of the painting you've also got the sky garden and what's known as the scalpel that's the one with the sort of the triangular top so have a guess how much that is well that surprised me i thought it would be a lot more than that 2800 well that is lovely yes i like that right let's continue around I think I might be too busy anyway. I've got a funny feeling that the weekend it could be quite busy. Right, getting here is really easy as well. We've got Battersea Power Station station, uh, which is probably your best way of getting here. <laughs> on the underground, on the northern line, of course. Now you've got stuff in 3D here. So not only have you got on top there's stamps. Yeah, and here as well. Uh -oh. All of those Lego figures, all in 3D. And if you fancy that, that's six grand. But each one of those is a Lego figure. You go, there's 330 plastic figure pieces. That's so much, it's so striking. <laughs> As I said before, it depends what sort of things you're into. Anyways, let us know down in the comments down below. See anything you like to look of? Just by browsing? And it's funny, I've got to put the camera away, and what do I see? More stuff, it's like, oh, that's striking. <laughs> Like these ones. <laughs> Swimming pools. I feel somewhere already. Now, a couple of bits that I have found. They've got a gift wrapping service. If you buy art, you can have a gift wrapping service. There you go. That's all thrown in as well. And actually, upstairs, they've got things for under a thousand. So if you're looking for a piece of art and budget is something you're looking for, they've got things up here for under a thousand. So you've got stuff there. But not only that, upstairs, You've got a cafe and a place that you can rest. But also, the good news is you can get a view down on the affordable art fair from over the top here. So you can have a look down and that just gives you a view of how many artists, or sorry, or how many different stools they've got exhibiting all of the art here at Battersea. There we go. It's a biggie. So, as we say goodbye to the Battersea Affordable Art Fair behind us, uh, and if you're coming for the weekend, have a fantastic time. But what's your favourite? Do let us know in the comments down below. What did you see that you would buy? If money was no object, which one would you buy? And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If you enjoyed stuff like this, then I'm going to put a link up in the top right hand corner to the uh, National Portrait Gallery, which is an amazing place, free in the centre of London. So if you're coming to London, it's definitely a place you want to come and visit. So if you click on that link, I'll see you in there. Thanks for watching. Bye.